I'm about to head to the airport to take my Part 107 certification to become a commercial drone pilot. I have no previous aviation experience and I've been studying for a grand total of five days. Wish me luck. Hi, I'm Martin Keen, and on this channel, Keen on Tech, we cover technology tips and techniques. And in this video, we're going to talk about passing the Part 107 exam to become a commercial drone pilot. I'm going to show you all of the resources that I've used to study for this test, and then we're going to find out the outcome of that together. So the first thing I did was take a sample test. This was before doing any studying at all. There are resources online, links in the description below, to where you can take these sample tests. And I just took 20 questions and basically guessed at the answers. And I got between 40 and 50% uh, on each set of questions. So the passing rate is 70%. So I could see that I couldn't just wing this whole test without any study at all, but I could also see that with a little bit of common sense, you could get almost half the answers right anyway. Now, when it comes to studying, there are basically two routes you can take. There is the option of taking a, an online course. Uh, this is a paid course. There are several out there, ranging in price from, I don't know, maybe about $150, um, through to the completely free option, which is just uh, finding YouTube videos online and resources on the internet. Um, I opted to do all of the free resources, so my only cost is the actual $150 to take the test itself. Everything I've done over this last five days has been for free. And when I say I've been studying for five days, that may make it sound a little more impressive than it really is. Uh, I've actually only been studying for like an hour or two each day. So let's talk about the resources that I used. Well, the first thing I did five days ago was I watched Tony Northrop's video. It's a very comprehensive video. It's one hour and 45 minutes, and it covers most of the things you'll need to be able to take the test. It's got really good sections on sectional charts, uh, METAR, weather reports, and so forth. So I watched that one time, uh, five days ago. That's how I started studying. And I watched it again just before taking the test this morning. The FAA provide a study guide as well. This is a dense 80 page PDF. Um, it is nowhere near as nice as Tony's video. It doesn't break things out as easily, uh, but I did have a flick through that as well. Then I started taking sample tests and I was getting a passing score of around 80% uh, at this point. This was about two days ago. So at that point, I felt confident enough that I had a shot at passing this test. So I went ahead and called for an appointment. As you say, this was for the 107. The 107, yeah. Right? yeah. In the two days since, I have watched a couple of other videos. Uh, I found a few other sites that had some test questions. So I've really just been taking more tests and uh, watching a couple of YouTube videos here and there. All right, enough talk. It's time to go to the test center. Let's do it. The, uh, the test score that passes is 70%. And that is my aim. There are no prizes for acing the test and getting 90 something percent. I need 70 percent, 72 percent, 71 percent. That's totally fine with me. And by the way, this stuff was actually quite interesting to learn. I could do without the METAR weather reports, but things like learning about airspace and the effect that the weather has on aviation was actually very interesting. So it's well worth doing. Now, I'm not going to be able to film taking the test. Obviously, cameras are not allowed. Um, I have to leave everything in the car. Phones and whatnot also cannot be brought in for obvious reasons. So, I'll see you when I've taken the test. Let's go. All right, just out of the testing center now, and um, I passed this. I scored a 97%. I got two questions wrong. So um, all that stuff I said earlier about just getting enough to pass the test and getting to 70%, well, turns out that all of the free study guides were quite sufficient to be able to ace this test. So most of this information was actually in the sample tests. In fact, there were some questions in the actual test that appeared word for word as they had done in the sample test. So I was sure about the answers to those. 
Um, there were some questions also about some general knowledge kind of aviation topics that I hadn't come across on any of the material I reviewed online, so I had to take a guess at those and, and luckily was right. Um, the two that I got wrong, one was a, a general aviation question that uh, I just guessed wrong at, and the second one was an issue uh, reading a sectional chart related to elevation. But for everything else it really was just a case of, of studying that material and uh, being able to read sectional charts was a massive portion of this, um, as was being able to read weather reports was a fair portion of this, but absolutely the majority of the tests uh, revolved around looking at different figures of sectional charts and being asked uh, you know, some sort of question about them related to airspace or elevation or something along those lines. But look, I did this in five days with no prior aviation experience whatsoever, um, just for one or two hours per day, and if I can do it, you absolutely can do it too. So take a look at the resources uh, that I have in the description below, and uh, good luck with your Part 107 test.